Hi guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. I have been feeling very um, oh, uncreative <laughs> lately, or it's not even that. It's like, I think my, um, my confidence has like just kind of left me and I have been really struggling with um, making videos. So that being said, um, this morning I had uh, two like just kind of really, um, I, I'm going to call them creative ideas and I was super excited about it because that hasn't happened for a while. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so I'm going to go with it because, um, who knows, it might be, it might be a while before I feel like, um, like I, you know, have any, um, business doing this YouTube thing. I don't know. I, my, I just feel like my, and I, this, I, I don't want, this isn't a pity party at all, at all. Um, it's just me and I, you know, like I'll, I, I, haven't felt this way in a really long time. So it was kind of weird. Um, but I think, I think I got my mojo back. So no big deal. All right. So I was inspired firstly, firstly, yeah, I think that's going to be a word. Um, I purchased these gorgeous, um, vintage, uh, bread bags, um, for, on Instagram and, um, from a, a vintage seller and, I, I knew when I bought them that I wanted to, um, use them as a cover, uh, for a little mini journal. I'm just going to close my blinds a little bit here because it's just a bit, I'm getting some weird shadows. Sorry about that. All right, there we go. Um, anyway, so I, I knew I wanted to use one of them, you know, um, for, making something. And then I actually have three of them listed um, in my Etsy shop right now. So you can check that out if you're interested. Um, but I want to make a, a little mini journal. So these are like 17 inches long and they're about five inches um, tall. So I fold it, well, it came folded in half, obviously, because it would have been very difficult to ship it um, you know, full size open, you know, open, which is fine. Cause I wanted it to be that way anyway. And I think they're just absolutely gorgeous. Um, they have like this beautiful, I don't know if you can see it. They just have a little bit of like, um, discoloration, like patina on the e edges and they're just fabulous. So anyway, I need to, you know, kind of, I need to fold these in and my goal was to make it, uh, like five by five. So, um, let's do that first. Um, but yeah, these are, I just thought this is so cool. These are going to be so fun, uh, to do something with. So yeah, let's get them. Oh, look at that. Ah, almost perfect. All right. So we're going to fold there. Let me get my bone folder and just sort of gently crease that and it creased pretty good on the inside. This one had a little bit of, um, of a mark on the inside and that's why I chose this one uh, to work with today. And then the other ones are in my shop and they don't have that on the inside. So let's see. And I thought these could be pockets. Let's do it this way because it's probably easier or little um, tuck spots, right, on the inside. Let me make sure it's pretty well even. I'm sure, I'm sure it's not gonna be perfect. It's, I'm dealing with, I mean, you know, this is, the, it's gusseted, so it's a little bit difficult. Um, when you're folding. And if you notice the holes in the center, I put those there. <laughs> so do not be alarmed. Um, I did that on purpose. All right, let's see if that's, nope, too far. 
Hopefully that was right because I kind of creased it already. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sorry. That took a while. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm, I don't know. I'm excited about this. I haven't felt terribly motivated or excited for a while. So, all right. So there is our cover more or less. Um, and yet, as you can see, I went ahead and used my medieval torture device. Um, Nick needs to do a video because he's funnier than me. Um, and I went ahead and put uh, three holes there and I'm actually gonna uh, attach, or uh, attach, is that the right word? Um, some eyelets. I don't know, I just decided to do it this way. The idea in my head seemed, um, you know, clever. And then in reality, it wasn't as, uh, as clever as I was hoping. Well, I'll tell you, I'll explain in a minute. Oh, why can't I remember how this goes? <laughs> I have to look at my other one because it has, yeah. Okay. So the, all right, we have to do it this way. All right. Whoops. Um, yeah, the idea in my head uh, made a lot of sense. And then executing that um, didn't really work as well. But I think, I think it'll be okay. Well, I'll show you in a second. Basically, I, the idea in my head was to go ahead and just put the eyelet through the entire thing like the signature and the cover at one time. And I don't know what I was thinking. There was no way that I was gonna be able to, that I don't have eyelets with long enough, um, uh, you know, parts to go through all that properly. So there was no way that was gonna happen. But before I realized that there was no way that that was gonna happen, I went ahead and punched the holes in my signature. And as you can see, it's really thick and it's not at all perfect. So I don't care. I'll just, we'll just string through that and then we'll have the eyelets on the outside. Cool? Makes sense? I don't know, I feel like I'm rambling. All right, so I went ahead and I, I put all my papers together and I'll show you all of them in a second. Let me make sure I have this the right way up. Cause I'm going to go ahead and, um, I'm going to go ahead and sew this in and I have some navy blue embroidery floss that I thought I would use. And I don't even know that I need a needle actually. Let's just, let's just try without cause I forgot to grab a needle. Let's see if we can do this. <laughs> Let me see if I can find the end of my embroidery floss. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Do you see what I mean? Like, I feel like I've lost every ability oh, that I've ever had. Yikes. It's not a fun feeling, is it? I'm sure I'm not the only one. Maybe I am. I don't know. But I feel like I've just um, sort of, oh, I don't know. All right. I'm going to stop babbling. All right. So I'm just going to hope that this will sort of you know what? I'm going to double it over and do it like that. That might be easier. That way my ends don't get all wacky. Yeah, I don't know. Probably not going to work. Yeah. Okay, let me grab a needle. Where did I put my needles? All right, this one's pretty large. Should be able to thread that pretty easily. I say that, but... Go. All right. All right. Make sure everything's right side up again. Pretty easy when you make holes this big. It's not really a struggle to sew, which is nice. Um, and I just thought with this bag being old, it might be a, a little more reinforcement with the. Um, the eyelets. I don't know. I might be crazy. I've seen people do it before. I just, I have never myself, but um, I thought I'd give it a go. All right. 
oh, so much easier to sew in, that's for sure. It is just very difficult to get it um, oh, completely centered, like when you're punching the holes, as you can see, I, you know, completely botched that up on the uh, signature, but it is what it is. I'm hoping it doesn't make a terrible big difference or, you know, problem. All right, let's get rid of those and see what we got here. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this up. Again, not terribly difficult when you've got such big uh, holes work to work with. So I hope everyone's having a good day. It is Friday, so yay for Friday. I don't know, it's not, I don't, I don't work outside the home, so Friday, it's like any other day for me, but I know a lot of you. Um, it's the start of the weekend. All right, there we go. All right, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Now let's go ahead and flip through and I'll show you the pages that I chose. And it's gonna be a little wonky because I messed up, but I just got some cardstock and some coffee dyed paper. And then as a guest check, this is a piece of um, sheet music. Oops. This is some really cool um, thin, paper that has some lovely aging, some wallpaper, more tea dyed or coffee dyed, coffee dyed ledger, some coffee dyed lined paper. This is, I believe, yep, it's a German, you can see it says Deutschland on it. German sort of like, um, I, I think it might be like a, a Scantron type situation for you older people who use Scantron <laughs> to take tests in school. Those were the days. Some sheet music. Uh, this is a vintage uh, just envelope that had some uh, photo mounting corners in it. Uh, that was fun. Um, just some tea dyed uh, scrapbook paper, index card. This is a coffee filter and I just kind of made a little tuck spot when I folded it. Some more um, sheet music, you know, just fun stuff here. Bigger index card, a coffee dyed doily, and then there's the center, and then everything is, you know, the same on the other side. All right, so let's go ahead and glue down these, probably should have done this beforehand, but um, it doesn't matter, I guess. I'll go ahead and get my Fabrifix here, get, clean off the nozzle for a second. Okay, there we go. All right, and we'll just glue Make sure I, don't, I had some glue strings that I don't want to trying to decide. I think I'm going to glue um, the gusset on the outside as well. Um, see this little, this little part here? This is flapping out all over the place and I don't really, I don't really want it to do that. So I'm just going to glue that down. So you could do this with any, um, I mean, it doesn't have to be a vintage bread bag. Um, obviously, you know, this wasn't, this was unused. 
Um, but you know, if you have bread in a bag from the grocery store, you could very easily use that bag because it probably, you know, I mean, it's just bread. So it doesn't usually leave much behind. All right, that's better. I like that better. So we have a pocket here and then we also have a pocket here. All right, let's do the same thing on the back. Um, the gusset probably isn't gonna be an issue um, on this side just because it's it's not open. I didn't I didn't open this end. Um, it, I could, um, but I just didn't. All right, here we go. that I think this is fun it's just a fun little I don't know it's a fun quick little project um, and then you end up with this cute you know it's just cute all right so then what I did was I pulled out um, some vintage ephemera and pieces does it want to lay down we're gonna have to add we're gonna have to add some sort of closure, probably just wrap around it. Um, okay, so I pulled out some actual vintage, um, well, this isn't, and neither is that, but some glassine envelopes and a coin envelope. And then um, this is just a little, I don't know, a little pout, uh, pocket I need to glue, but um, that I had in my stash. And then this is just a tiny uh, CD envelope. I love these so very much. Um, and I coffee dyed that. And then these are, uh, some vintage tags and, uh, a couple of vintage tickets. I love this one so much. Look at the back of this. How stinking awesome is that? It's not focusing. There we go. Anyway, um, a little, this is from the, uh, the Netherlands, I believe, like a, um, I think it's postage. And then this is Russian, I think. Let me see that, it's pretty cool. So I just pulled out, you know, a few things and then I have a bunch of these um, vocabulary cards. I just thought those might fit in places. And then I never work with my own um, digital kits, so, I, I just, I don't, I just, I don't do it. Um, anyway, so I just went through and, uh, this is, um, for my vintage labels set one. And then a couple of the advertisement pages, I printed two to a sheet so they would be smaller. Um, and then I also have, um, a page from my, one of my wildflower guides and I did the same thing. I printed it smaller two to a page so that it would um, fit, you know, in these little, I thought maybe these would be, could be pockets. Um, and I just used ivory cardstock for that. And then I also have um, a bunch of Tina's uh, um, digital cigarette cards. And then they're, they have tea paper on the back. Um, and I just, just because I had them and I thought that might be something that we could use. So let's go ahead and decide um, what we wanna what we want to add in here. And obviously, let's see. Yeah, I don't know. We're, we're just gonna we're just gonna do it. Let's see. So maybe we could put um, this little coin envelope here. So let's go ahead and glue it down. Um, and you know what? I'm gonna make it a tuck spot too. So I have big news in the world of uh, Oscar. <laughs> This is so silly, but if, you, if you're if you a dog owner, you'll completely understand, I think. Um, so I've said before, he since the 4th of July, he won't go outside in the dark. 
and we weren't forcing him to because that seemed to be making it worse. Um, anyway, he, this morning, while it was still dark out and he doesn't usually do this, he went out all by himself and went potty and acted like it was no big deal. And I was so very proud of him. <laughs> I know it's the silly things that you get excited about, right? As a pet owner, I, but I mean, it's a big deal because he has literally just been, you know, not happy since the 4th of July. Um, and I hope, I'm, I'm hoping that he's finally realizing that it's, you know, it's over <laughs> until next year. Well, actually, uh, people, we have fireworks, uh, Labor Day weekend too. So, um, but I might, I might talk to my vet and get him a, um, some sort of like a tranquilizer seems like the wrong word, but, um, yeah, some sort of something so that he doesn't have to be so miserable. Uh, let's see, let's put that there. That's cute. And again, we'll leave it as a tuck just so we have options. Um, yeah, so yay for Oscar. So ha I'm so happy for him. <laughs> Poor guy, ugh. It's just so sad because it would be dark and, you know, we would say, okay, let's go outside. And Pixie would, you know, run to, runs to the back door and she doesn't care, right? And Oscar would just like back up and, and give us this look like, don't you dare make me go out there. Um, it was just, oh, it was so pitiful. And that's why we stopped making him go. Cause we were like picking him up and carrying, carrying him out. And it was completely useless because um, he didn't, you know, he didn't want to go. So it, he wasn't, it wasn't like he was doing anything when he would go out there. Oh yeah. Anyway. All right. So we also have this little, um, I don't want to put everything on this side though. And here's a pocket here anyway. So, and we have a tuck spot here. I don't want to cover that up. Um, and then we can still have, you know, some writing space anyway. Let's put this on the other side of this page here. Okay. Uh, so I actually had people interested in um, a live stream where I work on um, some miniatures. So I want to do it and I, I will. Um, but like I said, I've just felt very um, self-conscious about filming. And so a live just uh, still seems a little bit overwhelming right now. Um, but I will do it. I promise. <laughs> I promise it'll happen. All right. We're getting, it's getting video is getting a bit long and I don't want to keep you guys all day. Um, let's see. I've got a pocket there. I still have this and this. Just trying to decide. Let's put, let's put this here and I will just uh, I'll make it make it like a pocket. So we'll just glue on three sides. page. 
we'll put this little guy. He's he's rather ragged. He's been been through some stuff, <laughs> but <laughs> that's okay, right? Okay. Um, yeah, you know what? Uh, I'm just going to glue the whole thing because I didn't really think it through. That's okay. And we'll just still stick it in the corner. All right. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out um, some of the, oops, um, some of the ephemera pieces from my kits and ink those up uh, and I won't make you watch that. And then I will come back and we'll, we'll fill these pockets with some stuff and I'll also find something um, to use as a closure here. All right, so I will be right back. Okay, so I have everything cut out and inked and ready to go. And we're just gonna fill this up with some fun stuff. And while we're doing that, um, I will uh, tell you that this is actually a super secret giveaway video. So if you have uh, stuck with me here um, until the end, yay for you and thank you. Um, and yeah, you can enter by um, being a subscriber and um, you'll have to leave a comment and the comment needs to um, include, uh, let's see, I'm trying to think of a secret word um, that I want you to use. Let's see, um, let's do, Hmm. I'm going to think about it. Anyway, let's go ahead and just, uh, I love this little girl image. Super cute. Um, let's see. And these, these labels, perfume labels are just adorable. All right. Let's make the super secret word. Um, oh, it's got to be something that you can like, you know, easily work into a sentence without it sounding weird, right? And also, uh, but not be obvious. Um, okay, instead of a secret word, I want you to tell me your favorite um, nope. <laughs> I'm thinking and so then I I can't do two things at once apparently. Um, <laughs> tell me your favorite part of this uh this journal um either you know something in it that is your favorite or something um just something about it that uh you like um yeah something like that oh i need something bigger here uh let's see give me one second and i'll go grab something okay these are just some um library card catalog cards that you know, were blank um, that I, I coffee dyed. Uh, let's see how if this will, I think I'm gonna have to fold it in half, but yeah, that'll be fine. All right. Um, anyway, yeah, so to enter the giveaway, you need to be a subscriber and I need to be able to see that you are a subscriber. So uh, just, you know, your settings need to be public. Um, and then, um, Tell me your favorite part of this journal. Um, either, yeah, either your favorite 
favorite thing that I've put in it or your favorite, you know, thing about the whole idea of it. Um, yeah, whatever, however you want to do that, that'll be fine. And then that way I'll know that you watched till the end. Um, yeah. All right. <laughs> that took forever to get out properly. Oh my gosh. It's just one of those, like, I'm not even going to say days. It's been one of those years. Um, yeah. <laughs> this little I love these I love these advertising cards they're just so much fun all right and then I'll be back um, on Monday with um, another little project that I've had in my mind for a while I didn't show you that one how cute is that um, and I, I'm finally getting around to doing it. So, um, I hope that you find it interesting. Uh, let's see, let's put these in here and let's try, yeah, I glued this one all the way down. Let's add this little green tag here. Um, yeah, I, it, it has been something that I've wanted to do since last summer. It's been about almost exactly a year. Um, since I had this idea and now I'm finally, finally getting around to doing it. Oh, lovely. I almost glued, uh, the page. Okay. Um, let's put this behind and maybe one of these and then let's put a couple of these in the actual envelope like that um, and, and then we have this big spot back here so that almost fits does it fit almost not quite all right let's just cut it a little bit here and we can round the corner oh Sorry about that. Yikes, that was probably really loud. Okay, maybe it'll go in this way. Nope. No such luck. All right. And I, I thought there was one of these that I, maybe it was just this one, okay. make sure I haven't forgotten any little tucks and stuff here. Oh, here, I didn't put anything back here. Let's tuck a couple little, little things here. All right, okay guys, I hope that this was uh, fun and, you know, entertaining, <laughs> at least a little bit. Um, oh, no, I forgot, I almost forgot. I wanted to make a little closure here. Or it's, I'm not gonna really make it, I'm just gonna, um, I have this gorgeous, like red, white, and blue sari silk from um, uh, Victorian, gypsy girl on um, Etsy and I just thought I'm actually just going to use the red and the blue part. Hopefully I cut enough. I thought it would, I thought it would go. We'll see. Um, Super cute. Let me cut some of this off. All right. 
there we go. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed that. And uh, don't forget uh, to leave me that comment, um, letting me know your favorite part of this. And I will do the drawing. Um, let's see. Uh, I'll do it Sunday, like sometime afternoon, um, Eastern Standard Time. So today is Friday, so you have two days. Um, and I'll, yeah, I'll draw it on Sunday afternoon. All right, guys, have a fabulous Friday. Have a fabulous weekend. Um, and until I see you again, take care and stay safe and stay healthy. All right, guys, bye.